Welcome back to Small Arms Farms. Here with Steve today at the range, and he has brought a surprise toy. I've never done an unboxing video, but uh, apparently he just got this in just recently. Yes. And we, I have no idea what's in the box. So, um, so what's in the box? What's in the box? Um, he's covered up the logo so I can't cheat. I have not seen this, no clue what it's, I mean, it's pretty heavy, but that could be part of the case too. Um, we're going to check it out and maybe compare it to some other toys we have and see what's going on. Okay, so it's definitely a 2011 platform. No shit. Oh, wait. What is... Is this... The, uh... I... I feel like this is... Can you pick this up on the camera? I'm trying to think of the name. Is this, um... It's a, uh, it's a custom 2011 shop. Oh, there's the name. Cobra Se Hayes Custom, okay. Wow, see how much I know about 2011s. I know exactly who it is now, Hayes Customs. This is, these are big, big name custom 2011s. Have you shot it? Uh, just enough to test fire it. God, that feels smooth. Yeah. That is just, so we're gonna go ahead and close this real quick so we can get out of the way of the main camera. But for anyone that doesn't know, Hayes Customs is a 2011 shop. Yes. And they specialize in these for like your competition guns and just collectibles. I mean, it has a huge serial number uh, <laughs> under 50. So I mean, these you don't see these very often. And just, I know you can't feel that on camera, but how smooth that is, is unbelievable. That is just writing on glass. And the weight on this thing is just nuts. I like the, it's, it's very similar to an Atlas thumb rest. That is an Atlas it thumb is? rest, okay. that's aftermarket. Yeah. Uh, the With tolerances the RMR? Are, are so tight that if you have the slide one degree off, it won't go on. It has to be precisely this 90 degrees wild. to get on the rails. This is wild. The bite on the grip is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like this thing's not going anywhere in your hands. All right. What's the trigger? What's the trigger like? Well, there's not much of a take up. Jesus Christ. See the reset? <laughs> what? <laughs> what reset? <laughs> I, does this thing bounce when you shoot it? I, I don't even know if you can see that on the camera, the reset. It barely moves. That is insane. Almost non-existent. I was wondering what he was going to bring, so I made sure to at least bring something that I could potentially compare it to. So let's good see. Choice. Let's see how good Hayes did. We have an Atlas Athena here. Yeah, obviously these are still. I mean, that's still really smooth compared to any other guns that I've shot. But this is kind of on a different level. That lockup and everything just seems to come down so well. And, and we have a trigger gauge to make sure. Let's see who's the reigning champ here. Oh, they even put an Atlas trigger in it, nice. And there's a, there was a note in the box from Ben Hayes saying, I enjoyed making your gun. I hope you enjoy shooting it as much as I did <laughs> building it. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. That's wild. So right at two pounds. Two, two pounds, five ounces. We're just gonna do a couple quick trigger pulls. <laughs> it says not even a pound. I don't know, but we'll count it. Because <laughs> it did break really easy. 
Yeah, right at about two pounds, five ounces. It's breaking almost every time. And that's what Ben Hayes said, it was right around two, over two pounds. That's insane. I, will, I think Atlas got him beat on that one. Yeah, I'm getting one pound, 14 ounces. One pound, 10. One pound, seven. Yeah, so Atlas does a good trigger, but there's nothing like having a master gunsmith tailor this. The finish on everything is so nice, too. Is that DLC? It's just solid stainless steel? Um, I, I can't tell you off the top of my head. I think it's DLC, but I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. God, that looks good. And it feels so good. Yeah, show the, the take up and reset on the um, Atlas. Atlas as yeah, well. the Atlas take up and reset is definitely not, is definitely more. So here's the break. There's the, or sorry, the break. Here's the take up with the wall. Oh, it's about the same. Yeah. That's the break. And the take up, or the reset is longer. The reset is definitely longer. Yeah, it's resets longer. Uh, not by much. I mean, these things are on a whole other level, these guns are. Jeez, the trigger doesn't even feel like it moves. That's insane. God, it looks good, too. The yeah. Cobra series, huh? Yeah, I like the tri-top slide. I think that's good looking. Um, and I'm big on thumb rest, so having oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. having added that from Atlas just locks it right in. And for my grip, at least, it just becomes immovable. I mean, once you go on there, there literally is no play in it. There's nothing in your grip. And we brought the high speed, so we're going to check that out. And we'll have Steve shoot the Atlas and the Haze, and uh, we'll really see how well these 2011 stay in your hand. You really do get what you pay for. And just... For whatever reason, they, they did s send it with the Trigicon. Like for free? With no additional cost, yeah. It was part of, the, part of the price of the gun. Oh, okay. And this is the Trigicon the that RMR. Uh, has no battery. This is oh, all the solar one. Yeah, yeah all based on, on solar and a tritium yeah, um, system. element for when there's no light. So that all, that all came with. That's really cool. So what made you pick Hayes Custom? Um, I had been following um, uh, their work for a while, and uh, they, you know they do some videos on YouTube uh, about their work and about um, uh, gun tuning and modification that I paid attention to. So I, I had a pretty good idea that they that they know what they're doing, watching watching them operate, and um, I got a uh, uh, and email from a, a list that I'm on that said, we've got one of these in stock. And I think the, the wait time is, you know, typical six, eight months. Somebody had one in stock. So I said, well, I, I can't pass that up. So I grabbed it when I found it. That's awesome. I like the magwell on it too. That is definitely a chunkier magwell. Um, yeah, one of the things they um, say about this, we'll have to check it on the range, is that it's almost impossible to get a, uh, an, a, an off-kilter mag insertion. I do that not frequently, I would say, but it's ruined a stage for me at a match by you just hit the angle weird. And for some reason, it locks that yes. mag in there. And it's not like you just move it and you go back in. It's stuck. Yes. And you have to try and wiggle that thing out and rip it out in order for it to feed another magazine in so if you don't hit the correct angle on some of these mag wells it will stick and this one is huge i mean there's not even any wear on it you should, did you load the rounds in one at a time <laughs> <laughs> no it actually has had a magazine um and the um the idea is um that there is uh something in the geometry that as you stick it in it's just going to go in no matter how you start it it wants to go home yeah that's not the same way on on an atlas we're all clear for all you nut bags out there like it, it it'll it'll hang up it's i don't know how i do it but there, there, we, yeah, go. there we go so it kind of hung up there and then this one apparently 
Yeah, it auto twisted it. Like it's almost, it's rotating it in there. It is guiding it home no matter how I try and stick it in there. That's huge in a match. Yes. That is huge. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, I can see this being a, a, a great competition gun. Yeah, that is limited optics written all over it. So, here's a big question. Bull Armory SAS 2 Air. What are we using now? Um, well, I, as I said, I only tested this for function because I wanted it to work when you and I got together. So I haven't shot it that much. So I, I, oh, I can't nice, say. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I, did, I did shoot a 2.5 for five pins the other night with the bull. So for, for nobody knows what that is, it's five bowling pins uh, on a rack and from low ready cleared all five pins in 2.5 seconds. So not an easy feat by any means. Not as fast as Tony does it, but still pretty fast. On a good day, I'll get 2.5. Uh, I'm super excited to try this out and let uh, see where we go. Grip is aluminum and uh, the texture is, um, seems to be Goldilocks to me. I mean, it locks me in, doesn't feel like it tears up my hand, but it's really easy to hold on to. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. It looks like, I swear, it looks like they used a lot of Atlas products. Like, look at the cuts on the trigger guard. Yeah. The, like, the lower looks like it was designed by Atlas, even the mag release. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. Uh, uh, of course, the grip safety is pinned. Yeah, yes. As, as yeah. it is there. Yeah. Um, I like the color scheme on it, though. It's like the gold or the brass, yeah. especially yeah. with the barrel. Yeah, that's a, that's the, a tin coating. Yeah, and the barrel, I mean, just a normal match bull barrel. Yeah, it just feels so good. <laughs> I mean, the bull armory doesn't really have a whole lot of play at all. Yeah. But this has... None. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. When I started putting the aftermarket um, My thumb rest in it, I thought I had gotten the wrong size. Again, because I had there it. There are two this, different sizes. But it turned out I had it slightly off center. The holes are so precise that unless you're 90 degrees, it won't go in. These are just, I, I can't wait to try this. Well, we should do that. Let's do it. All right, we're going to try them. All right, first real shots, kind of? Yep. You just did function testing? Function testing. Okay, we're gonna get a timer out, we're gonna do some warm-up shots, and we're gonna get a timer out and kind of compare how we're shooting some of these guns. Uh, I did not bring the CZ, but we have a couple 2011s, we have an m and I mean, that's not gonna I compare. I have the bowl, I think. Oh, you might have the bowl? Yeah, look. Ooh. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Disclaimer, as with pretty much all of my videos, none of this is sponsored. Everybody bought all these products with their own money, mostly Steve's money. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, just unbiased opinions. We just love to test this stuff and have fun with it. This is not really in a review. This is just kind of an impressions video of what we feel like, how they compare. So we're not really diving in depth. We did do some trigger review action, but uh, that's about it. Stand by. Oh, I'm sitting here watching you. I forgot to hit the button. Oh, darn! You have to do it again. <laughs> One seven five. First shot at seven four. Nineteen. Okay, so a twenty three, a nineteen, a twenty one, a nineteen, a nineteen, nineteen. The camera's not pointing at it, but it's an A zone target at seven yards. So this is officially a bill drill. Are you ready? Stand by. shot five <laughs> we'll see what that fifth one was it's, it's, it's all my pin shooting my, yeah. my brain is wired to shut off after five. First shot was a 64 though so that's yeah. huge 21 18 17 17 and then like 285 <laughs> <laughs> okay so six with the six with the bull okay are you ready stand by You gotta squeeze it six times. <laughs> Can't get it out of my head. That's pretty good. So you're warming up. So yeah, 56, 21, 18, 17, 21. All right. So obviously you've used that a lot more though. Yes. So it's gonna maybe take a couple days to really, really make this shine, but I have a feeling you're gonna run this faster. I would, I would change the dot though. I may well. 
Because um, that's a really small window. It is. It's a small window, and the uh, because it's. Uh, not ambient a, illuminated yeah. the dot's not that bright that's and, really like a defensive pistol top yeah. it's not really known for being competitive yeah this feels really nice the um that's it, a more aggressive texture it, well and the swell on the the step support hand side the step really locks you in i like that a lot yeah that's why i got it and it's got the swell on the 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 trigger hand as well yep. Stand by. A little bit of stutter on that fifth. Yeah. Ooh, 58 on your first shot, a 20, an 18, a 17, an 18. Yeah, there was your stutter into the six, which was yeah. a 4 0. But uh, still a 171. If you would have cut, I mean, you would have been at a 151. Yeah. If you would have done your normal time. Yep. Okay, ready. Stand by. Still have that hesitation in the middle. 175. The first shot was a 57. 21, 41. Yeah, you stuttered there a little. 21, 18, 17. Just one stutter after that first two shots. Yeah. All right, stand by. Fastest. That was much better. Yeah. A 154, first shot was a 60. 23, 18, 17, 18, 18. Consistent. Yes. That's what that was. Yeah. That's a big ass fireball that comes out of that too. Stand by. Yeah, still hanging up. Still faster though. Your first shot's really good, 64. Yeah. That was a 182. 21, 37, you had a little hang up on that third one. 20, 17, you picked it back up though, 23. Yeah, so I still shot the uh, Atlas the, the best. Fastest, yeah. Interesting. It has a lighter pull, maybe that's why. Yeah. Uh, it's dangerous pull, most people would consider. Like it is not meant to be anything but a competition gun. Yeah, exactly. So. It's a really nice trigger. I, yeah, this is more of your like hand custom, safe two pound two and a quarter pound basically yeah so like that's or two and a third um well let's see what the pro does with them pro my ass all right shooter ready stand by <laughs> 180 you're blowing me out of the water here tonight 77 first shot, 23, 22, 19, 20, and 19. Who's the pro now? Ah. Shooter ready, stand by. <laughs> Identical, 180. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Even with the slower first shot. Okay. Yeah, it was an 8-1 uh, first, and then you picked it up. 22, 21, 19, 20, 17. I need to learn your ways of the trigger, my friend. Yeah. Now watch me shoot this one faster. Shooter ready. Stand by. I did shoot it faster. You certainly did. <laughs> by a margin. I like the trigger on that, man. It's nice. I want to do this one again real quick. Just for time. You still? Uh, yeah, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, not okay. doing that. Yeah. All right. Shooter ready. Stand by. <laughs> One seventy-two. I. The haze, man. <laughs> First time you ever shot it. Yeah, but I'm used to the grip. Usually when it's the first time I'm shooting something, it's the grip angle, the ergonomics that yeah. are like off that I'm just not used to maybe. And that's not the case here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the virtually identical. Yeah, like all that. as far as like the grip angle, the, the safety levers are actually the exact same. Look, Yeah. This, the off, the left-handed thumb, whatever, 
it's just a slightly different size, but that doesn't matter because I don't touch that. Right. But if you look at the strong hand safety, I mean, like that's the same exact safety. The Atlas thumb ledge is the same. Mag release the same. Angle's the same. Yeah. Texture is it the same? But they're so Good. close. Hey, George. Uh, God, those are fun. <laughs> God, those are fun. Yes. Good. One more. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. That was good, there you go. Okay, 166. So we sent just your average MOA target with a few bullseyes to 25 yards. And uh, we're gonna test the accuracy for distance wise on all of these. So we've got a few to try. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna be doing the Atlas, the Hayes Custom, and the Bull Armory SAS 2 Air. What do you think, five or 10 shot group? Uh, five I think is probably okay. a good representation. Yeah. I really like the recoil impulse on this. I, it's not, didn't have time to really notice it in the rapid fire. For how small that dot is, it stayed there. For how tiny that window is. Yeah. Like, I felt like I could see the dot really well. It did kind of disappear in the fire because it's orange. Yeah. So it, like the green really, like when you got a fireball in front of you, yeah. like the green still stands out and you can tell. It's a good group. It's a good group. I'm, for me at 25 yards, that is. That's a real good group. Good. Actually, it could be the dot's just too big. On the haze? Yeah. It's twice as big as the other ones. It's true. Aha. Uh -huh. That's that's part of the reason we're having accuracy issues. So uh, as I go to load it, oh. the uh, dot. Yeah. <laughs> I still got irons. Stand by. Second oh, shot was sweet. slow. 167. Dude, you were blowing me away on that first shot though. That's a 73 first shot, 23, 19, 18, 18, 16, so. All right, you're up. Stand by. Speed Queen, 149. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, so a 49 first shot, a 22, a 20, a 19, a 19, and a 20. Steve was nice enough to bring this Haze Custom out. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it feels just like butter when you shoot it. Uh, I don't know why it has about a half a pound stronger trigger than my Atlas. But the way that it fires, I guess, the take up and the reset, I'm able to shoot it faster than my Atlas. Um, I'm guessing that's just the custom work that they do over there at Hayes. Not saying the Atlas is slow or a bad trigger. It's still one of the best triggers I've ever felt in my life that has like a one pound, 10 ounce break, just consistent every time. Uh, as far as that, the grip is a little bit different on his. Nothing that is going to hinder you, in my opinion. I think that having a better dot on it would probably even make it potentially faster. Can't say. Uh, but so far, this was a lot of fun. And we got to have thanks to Steve for bringing hey. us all uh, the toys that are so much fun. And uh, hopefully, next month he spends another eight, nine, ten grand and we get to play <laughs> with another one. Like, that's just how it works. We just wait till Steve buys really cool shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, the drills are fast. I mean, I'm not a professional shooter by any means, but uh, they're still fun me to do. And uh, as we found that Steve is blowing me away in the build drills because he's been practicing a lot more than me. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in and I hope you had fun because I sure as hell did. First of all, I just want to say thank you to Steve for not only buying an amazing custom Hayes 2011, 
but then to also hold off on like actually shooting it, actually going to the range and enjoying it and waiting to where we could shoot a video with it. I think that's awesome. Thanks, Steve. Really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun doing stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to kind of go into like a conclusion of what I thought of the Haze, kind of comparing it to another high-end 2011. Um, as far as everything on the Haze versus the Atlas Athena, the lower on the Haze, the grip, it's, it's Atlas, but it's their V1 grip pattern. Uh, everything from the pin safety um, to the thumb safeties up here were identical. Um, the lower everything, the trigger even, the shoe, was it was all Atlas, even the thumb rest that Steve put on his. The only difference was the slide in the barrel and I'm sure some kind of internal stuff that I don't know enough about. Uh, I don't know how it sprung. That was kind of all of our first shots with the Haze. Steve had done some function testing to make sure it worked before we uh, shot a video. Um, even the mag release was the same as the Atlas. Uh, the, the difference was how the trigger was sprung and set up though. So the Atlas beat it on the pull weight at a one pound, 10 ounces uh, average over 10 shots. And the Haze was right at two pounds, five ounces. So <laughs> stupid lightweight triggers, very crisp, very fast. Um, the Haze was a shorter take up and a shorter reset as well. So I guess that would be the one difference. And the grip on the V2 Atlas is better. Um, I like a very aggressive pattern. This one has a very aggressive pattern. Um, the Haze had a, you don't want to say softer because it's still an amazing aluminum stippling grip that it's not going anywhere, but this has the palm swell on the strong hand side and it has the step on the off hand side. So that makes a difference. I did like the magwell on the Haze better. I can switch the magwell out on this one if I wanted to. I just haven't done it. I haven't spent the money to get it. I don't need it necessarily. Um, now, as far as performance, I can't tell a single difference between recoil impulse, the speed of the firearm, felt recoil, the triggers feel amazing. I, they shoot great. They shoot better than anything I've ever shot before. But I shot the haze faster, and I don't know why. Um, not like crazy faster, like a tenth of a second on build drills. And we did, I don't know, probably 10 build drills with each one. We shot hundreds of rounds through each of them. We really tried and put them through the ringer. Um, I do, we did do the um, accuracy testing out to 25 and 15 yards just for groups to see what we could get. We did it offhand, so no rest or anything like that. Now, a lot of the shooters involved in that part and Next time, maybe we'll try it on like a bench or some kind of rest that we can actually get maybe a better idea out at 50 yards even. Okay, and as far as those groups go, this is at 25 yards. So this is the haze up here. Um, I had a couple flyers, I'm guessing, uh, up a little higher up here. So the only group I could see is this three shot group. We did a five, we did five shots. So there was something up here, I guess. It was hard on the haze at 25 yards just because the dot on that RMR was so big that it was it was covering up the entire bullseye. So it was kind of hard to tell where you're going. Um, this was the Atlas. I got four shots here. I'm guessing there was a flyer over here somewhere. And the Bull Armory at 25 yards did pretty good. Um, nice tight group there, uh, kind of like that. And then this was mine at 15 yards. You can see the haze in the center here. Again, I think it was that RMR. But there was another little thing about the RMR too. Um, the red dot came completely loose and one screw backed out entirely and it was flip flopping around. You'll notice in some of the high speed footage, if you look closely, that a uh, red dot was literally bouncing off of the slide. So I guess it wasn't Loctited from the factory and we found out after I don't know, like a hundred rounds, it was falling off. So the group size is probably gonna be bigger because of that. So this is the test we're gonna have to redo, but I'm showing it anyways. And then the Bull Armory at 15 yards and the Atlas at 15 yards. Um, these were Steve's groups at 15 yards. So um, here's the Atlas down here. I mean, he put four of them almost through the same hole, two in that hole, two in that hole. The Bull was a much tighter group here. Uh, and then again, the Haze opened up quite a bit, but I think that's just because the optic was literally in a different position every time you pulled the trigger because it was bouncing on the slide so much. You, when you look at that high-speed footage, 
take a second look at it and you'll see that the dot, the back end of it keeps hiking up every time it comes back into battery. I, I guess lessons learned, Loctite the stuff before you go out. <laughs> so as a comparison, you can't go wrong with either one. If you can afford them, uh, they're right around the same price range. The Atlas brand new is gonna be a little more expensive than a Haze brand new. Um, that's just how it is. I personally think, which is super subjective, the Atlas cuts, the slide cuts. Uh, it looks personally cooler in my opinion, but I mean, I did like that gold barrel on the Haze, but I really do like the 4.6 inch barrel on the Athena. Uh, if I had a choice between the two, even though I shot the Haze slightly faster, that could also be because I have only been using my Shadow 2 all year exclusively. I have really not even been shooting my Atlas at all. Um, trying to rank up and carry optics. So I'm shadow two all the way uh, for this year. And I don't have as much trigger time at all on my Atlas compared to what I had last year. So that could be part of it. And it's gonna come down to availability. If you're looking to get into this high-end custom and custom-ish guns uh, for 2011s, you can't go wrong with Haze, you can't go wrong with Atlas, and you really can't go wrong with the Bull Armory SAS 2 Air because I don't wanna throw that one under the bus or take it out of the uh, picture because I shot that one just as fast also. And that one does feel softer than the other two because of how much weight is in that slide, I guess. I don't know. It seems softer, but it seems slower when the cycling rate. So the dwell seems a little longer. I, you can look on high speed to see. Um, I don't really have a comparison apples to apples with those because it does have a heavier slide. It is a five inch barrel versus a 4.6. My suggestion would be if you're in the market for something like this, Check uh, gun shops that carry high-end pistols because that's how I got mine. There was a gun shop somewhere in Rhode Island that had like four Atlas uh, Athenas in stock and I swiped one from them. Same thing with Steve. He picked up his from an email he got that a shop had one in stock. It's hard to wait nine months to have your pistol built. I get it. So if you can find one that someone already has or even used, these things are tanks. They're they really will last, and if anything, you send it back to the manufacturer and they'll tune it up for you fairly cheap. Um, but you can be comfortable knowing that these things will last a long time if you take care of them. They are a Ferrari in the pistol industry, so you do have to maintain them. You do have to do spring changes. You have to make sure that you're on top of that, cleaning it and lubing it. These are not a Glock. They perform if you take care of them. So if you can find a used one, you can always get it tuned up in tip-top shape working as it would brand new. That's my suggestion. Again, thank you all so much for stopping by. I know this was a long video. It was just a lot of fun to shoot. Um, we had a great time and I do have some more coming down the pipe. Uh, still currently editing some other videos and hopefully we'll get them out soon. Uh, you guys are the best. Catch you later.